This is the video for managing services and credentials using the Minnesota Provider Screening and Enrollment Portal, known as MPSE. In this video, we will demonstrate how a provider manages their services and credentials in an active enrollment record. One would do this anytime a service is added. We will start on our Manage Portfolio page in MPSE, which we access through our Minutes account. Under the Request section, we will click the Create a New Request button. This opens the Select Request Type page. In the Request Type Selection section, we will click on the radio button next to Enrollment Record Request. We then enter the request effective date in the provided field. In this demonstration, we will use today's date. The question for, is this a revalidation request, defaults to no. We will leave the default selected and click the Continue button. This opens the Manage Enrollment Records page. We need to locate the enrollment record that we want to add a service to. If we had multiple enrollment records, we would use the search feature located in the top right corner of each section. We could also sort each section by the individual columns, such as NPI slash UMPI or address to find the appropriate enrollment record. We locate the enrollment record we wish to update and click Edit in the Actions column. This opens the Enrollment Record Information page. We verify that we have the correct record. If we need to update information on this page, we would do that here. To update the services, we click Services in the right-hand navigation. This opens the Manage Services page. We use this page to add new and to modify existing services for this enrollment record. First, we review the services in the Provider Specialty and Package Services section to see what services are already part of the enrollment record. If we need to edit or end an existing service, we click View slash Edit in the User Actions column of the appropriate service. In our example, we are adding a service to this enrollment record, so we click the Add a Service button at the bottom of the page. This will open the Manage Service page, where we will select the service name we need from the drop-down and enter a service begin date in the provided field. Once everything is entered, we click Continue. This brings us back to the Manage Services page where we verify that all the services provided by this enrollment record have been entered and updated as needed. Often, when we add a service, we also need to add a credential. To do this, we will click on the link titled Credentials in the right-hand navigation. This opens the Manage Credentials page. We use this page to upload the required credentials for the service that we added on the previous screen. Instructions are located in the center of the page showing the credentials that are required and those that are optional. In our example, we added a transportation service. We will need to add credentials based on our business type. We are a lead agency, so the credential we need to add is a lead agency assurance statement. To start the process, we click the Add a Credential button at the bottom of the page. This opens the Select Credential page. We locate the credential we need, click on the radio button next to it, and click Continue. This opens the Manage Credential page for the Lead Agency Assurance Statement. We complete the required fields that are identified with an asterisk. This particular credential requires supporting documentation, so we click on the I icon next to the Supporting Documentation field. This opens the File Manager on our computer, where we can select the file to upload. Once all required fields are complete, we click Continue. This brings us back to the Manage Credentials page, where we can confirm 
that all the credentials have been added. The text box that indicated that we needed to provide credentials is now gone, which tells us that we have now met all the requirements for the service that we added. If we had other changes to make, we could do that by navigating to the appropriate section. If changes are needed to a different enrollment record, we would need to create a separate new request and start this process from the beginning after we had submitted this request. We are done with the changes we want to make, so we click Submit Request in the right side navigation. This opens the Submit Request page. If there are any errors, we can review those here and fix them before we submit our request. We don't have any errors, so we click the attestation box on this page and click the Submit for Approval button at the bottom of the screen to complete our request. This will open the Submission Approval page. Note, there is an option on this page to complete a survey before continuing. We encourage you to provide feedback so we can continue to improve the MPSC portal. In this video, we have demonstrated the process for adding a new service and credential to our enrollment record in the MPSC portal. If we had questions about this process, we would refer to the MPSC user manual. We will find the instructions we need by selecting MPSC requests from the left side of the page and then selecting Enrollment Record Request. This opens the Enrollment Record Request page. We complete the instructions on this page and, in Step 5, we click on the Services link to find the instructions to complete the request. The Department of Human Services offers various training opportunities, including other on-demand videos and online sessions. You can register for the online sessions by visiting the MHCP Enrolled Provider Training page on the DHS Provider website. Check the MHCP Provider News and Updates for announcements on changes to programs and information about new learning tutorials when they become available. Thank you.